Yes, and that's from <laughs> Eric Holmes, who consistently uh, buries the lead. In yes, uh, next movie we're gonna talk about. No, no, you got to talk about the Crow, best film of the year, two thousand. Yeah, no, that leads buried. We're gonna talk about Strange Darling. Oh, it's, <laughs> well, it's a Strange Darling. This is a movie with the Kyle, Kyle Gallner, Gallner and from... Will of Will of Fitzgerald. Yeah, Will of Fitzgerald plays the lady. Kyle Gallner plays the demon, and it opens up with uh, the demon chasing the lady uh ladies running away and then you see her in a car and you see the demon in the car and then one point the demon just stops yeah or at night he's not driving a car he's driving a truck stops get out the back shoots the car car goes off the road and then uh he goes driving up she gets out of the car and runs in the woods he chases after her and that's uh that's pretty much what it is it's cat and mouse game this says it's a thriller in six chapters. The part I just described with the how the movie opens starts with chapter three, then goes to chapter five, then chapter one, then two, and then six. I think I think that's how it goes. But it, it's basically uh, after watching it, I kind of piecing together the the how the narrative goes, and that would be interesting. You know that that would be a good movie on its own, but I think having them switch the chapters around kind of gives you because I just set up a chase movie, and that's kind of what it is. But then when you see different chapters, now you have a new context of what's happening, and then you get to the, and so you think you know what's going on, and then they move to an early chapter, and you're like, oh okay, wait, no, I was off about that. And then they move to a later chapter. I'm like, Ooh, okay, yeah, I got to rethink. So the whole time they're moving things around, you constantly have to adjust and uh, adjust your parameters of what you think this movie is. And it's really, really good. And mention Jason Patrick does the, uh, there's like an opening narration of this movie. He's, he's in this? J uh, he's, his voice is. He voices, uh, he, it's like a, like a Star Wars scroll. But as it's scrolling, someone's and I'm like that name, that voice sounds familiar. It was Jason Patrick, and guys, a stud. And well, this was on the Patreon episode, but uh, we talked about split diopter. There's a split diopter shot in this. I I think there's a couple of them actually. So Greg, that's for you. Uh, Giovanni Ribisi is the you know that that's the big thing. He's the the cinematographer on this. It looks great. I did, actually yeah. So uh, Giovanni, Giovanni Rubisi, he's he's a good DP. I yeah I think so I I think like kind of early on like a lot of the shots kind of call attention to themselves but that's sort of the style of the movie so you kind of yeah. let the you, know, you gotta let stuff like that go. how is shot on thirty five did it add to the luster of the movie did you think that was good that good choice was it or I did don't, you... I I just kind of sink into the movie I'm I'm sure it did but I, I wasn't like you know I, I wasn't going up there with like one of those diamond diamond viewer things going ooh look at the grain blah 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 <laughs> like. I, I honestly don't care that much. If it looks cool, then I, I just kind of leave it at that. There's a point with Barbara Hershey and Ed Bigley Jr. They they show up. Wow, that, what a great their, cast! Their their part is pretty silly and in a pretty great way. Will Fitzgerald is definitely the star here. Like it's you know she's running away from the demon. Cal Gallner he plays a great demon I, I i think i'll leave it at that enough people have said enough about this i'm just gonna add more praise to it this movie's great well this is i'm assuming you're gonna give a strange darling five stars right is it top of the line type I'll, of? I'll, I'll go 6.9 on this there's no reason not to there's really so yeah it's a perfect what a perfect thriller to fill in the blank Perfectly yeah because like you know the uh, the switching around the narrative seems a bit like a gimmick but it's a gimmick that works because right. it, it it's a way to, you know, keep, yeah, the movie, it, it moves, it moves great. Oh, and the, the ending sticks a landing as well. Mm. The, it, it's not like a, like a huge twist or anything. Cause by the time it gets to the ending, like everything's kind of already out on the table at that point, it, at that point, it's like, well, where does this movie go? And then it does the thing. It's like, Oh, good job. Very well done. <laughs> Eric, who's the best genre actor we've come across the last several years, in your opinion? Uh, it's Besides Scott Atkins? Off the top? I mean, Kyle Gellner's got to be up there. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Okay. Since 2020, okay? And 2020 kind of doesn't count because 2020 is the year that Dinner in America is says on IMDb, but 
I think by the time we got to dinner in America, it was around 2022 or late 2021. So let's just say within the last four years, I'm going to read you a whole bunch of his IMDb credits. Dinner in America, 2020. I did not see the 2020 TV series Interrogation or the 2020 movie Ghosts of War or The Catch, which was 2020, or Scream, which was 2022. I have not seen Scream. Good. Oh, that was good? That was okay. Good. Yeah. Now let's get to 2000. I mean, all the, all not to get up, all the screams are good. Like even the worst scream is still pretty damn watchable. Okay. Now let's get to 2022. And I remember we mentioned dinner in America a movie. All of us loves so much, but starting 2022, what comes around? Remember that sort of, yeah. Okay. We got smile. We have mother. May I, we have the passenger and now we have strange darling. What about that list? I mean, that's pretty, I mean, it's hard to beat, in yeah. my opinion. I, I remember loving Smile more than all, both of you, but still, it's a good genre film. I have not seen Mother May I yet. You and Bruce did see it, but I, I, I remember you and I really enjoyed What Comes Around, and all three of us really loved The Passenger, so highly oh, underrated. Yeah. But Gallner is really up there as a genre filmmaker. Willa Fitzgerald, so, but you said this is pretty much her film. She's, she's oh, oh, yeah, she's she. She crushes it in this. Oh, very good. So yeah. that's strange, darling. And in fact, I, I think in some ways, like it's good they got Kyle Gallner because otherwise, if they would have got anyone else, Will Fitzgerald would just ran circles around him. Well, <laughs> like very, very. Kyle Gallner is, I think, is the only person that they could like even keep up. Well, congrat! Thank you, Eric Holmes, for actually watching this movie in theaters. I was the entitled podcaster who was still throwing a little bit of a hissy fit because we none of us received screener links for strange darling 